people used to like to come and make merit on their birthday. And John Fung would always say, well, think about your death day, too, because the day you were born was the day you died from something else. These things happen all the time, which is why we have that chant every night, subject to aging, subject to illness, subject to death, to remind yourself that you have to focus on what's really of worth in your life. Of course, the number one thing is the quality of your mind, because the mind is what determines everything else you do. So you want to make sure that your actions come out of a good place. When you're looking after your mind, that's when you're heedful, because this is what these reflections are all about, is to develop a sense of heedfulness. You don't have time to waste, and there's a lot of dangers in the mind. There's a lot of dangers outside that you have to learn how to deal with skillfully. But the whole point of heedfulness is not simply that they're dangerous, but also that you can do something about them. It was inevitable that suffering was going to have to happen. Then there would be no point in trying to put an end to it. But you can put an end to it. You can prepare for the dangers. And the big ones, of course, are your own greed, aversion, and delusion. So you try to develop as much mindfulness and alertness to counter them as you can. It's not that you have to look for help outside. I mean, you get advice from outside, but the actual work comes from the qualities that are there in the mind as well. The mind has good and bad qualities all mixed up together. And what you want to learn how to do is to sort them out. So that during this brief amount of time we have between this birth and the next death, we can accomplish something of real worth, of genuine value in our lives. So in that reflection, the Buddha has to reflect on days and nights are passing, passing by, passing by. What am I becoming? You have to look at yourself, look at your actions, look at your state of mind. What are you becoming? If you don't like what you're becoming, well, you can change. Act in ways that would develop good states of becoming. So you can use them to go even further in putting an end to suffering. Because there is that dimension that's beyond birth and beyond death. That's the important one. And everything you can do to find that is an effort well spent. And as for the wishes for a happy birthday, as the Buddha said, a day when you are alert to what's going on in the mind and abandoning anything that's unskillful, that's an auspicious day. So the auspiciousness doesn't have to happen to do whether it's your birthday or somebody else's birthday or whatever. It's, it depends on the fact that you're making good use of your time.